Hi everyone, for today's video I would like to share with you how to set up port forwarding in an AT&T router. So this particular router that I have is the uh, model number 5268AC and it's a little confusing on how to set up port forwarding here. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to be setting up 44158 for my Helium Miner to be open. So if you go right now in portchecker.com uh, if I put in my IP address here and click check, it's telling me the port 44158 is closed. And also, this is causing my Helium Miner to be in relay status. So if you can see right here, it says relayed yes. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go to my AT&T router and the default gateway address for an AT&T router is 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot two five four. If you're not sure about this, if you have a different type of router, go to the router itself, and it should have like a sticker there or uh, some writing that tells you the default gateway. And while you're there, you want to make sure to get your access code as well because you're gonna be needing that to make changes to your router. So once I get here to my AT&T router all I need to do is click on settings and then select firewall and then here click on application pinholes and DMZ okay so here you can see that you can select a computer select a computer that you need or if you don't know the computer name you can always enter the IP address as well and also if you're doing this port forwarding for games they already probably have this uh, as a default setting so you, all you have to do is select here so since uh, helium is not listed here and I don't want to go to each of this to see if any of this is using uh, 44158 I'm just gonna create a new one for my uh, helium so I'm gonna click on add new user defined application I don't have to do anything on step one for now I'm just gonna create a uh, user defined application first so click on this add new user defined application and then here I'm just gonna name it helium so in here I'm going to select TCP and from range I'm gonna put in 44158 to 44158 because that's the only port that I need to open so I'm gonna click add to list okay so next I'm gonna click on UDP and I'm going to open 44158 as well so I'm not sure for helium I think you only need TCP but I'll open both anyway I'm gonna click add to list again you don't have to put anything in the timeout map to host port and application type okay so I'm just gonna click add to list Okay, now you can see that under the definition list, I have TCP44158 and UDP44158, and it says configuration successful. So now I just have to click back. Okay, now you can select the computer that you want to uh, port forward. And for me, I know that my miner is this one right here because I have already uh, searched it using the uh, MAC address. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select this. If you don't know, you just have to type in the IP address here. It's going to be the same thing. Okay, but for me, I'll put in my Helium Miner right here. I'm going to select my Helium Miner. And now you see that it's changed from choose 55C3911 to you have chosen 55C3911. Okay, now you, you want to go back here on step 2 switch this from maximum protection to allow individual application and then you want to click on user define because you define a new one and you're going to select helium click on add and now it says configuration successful so you don't have to do anything else uh, when you click add it actually it automatically saves it okay so to check that I'm gonna click on status 
and now you're going to see that firewall status is active and I have this device allowed to 44158 okay so now if I go back to port checker and see right now it says close when I click check that should open up there you go so 44158 is now open so that's how you set up the port forwarding for AT&T router and I hope you like this video and please make sure to click the like and subscribe button to help my channel. Thank you for watching.